Hi friends, in this video we have algebra for secondary 2 and examples on arithmetic mean. Let me first refresh by an example on arithmetic sequence. Example, three numbers form an arithmetic sequence. Their sum is 33 and their product is 792. Find these numbers. If we have a three numbers, we assume the three numbers to be a, a plus d, and a plus 2d. Here we are given the sum and the product. Find the sum. The sum will give an equation in two unknowns, a and d. Then find the product. This will give a second degree equation in a and d. Solve the two equations and find a and d. Use the first equation to simplify the second equation. a plus d is 11. So put a plus d equals 11. And in the second bracket, a plus 2d equals a plus d plus d. So the first a plus d is 11, so this is equal to 11 plus d. So finally, we have a times 11 times 11 plus d, this is equal to 792. This is a second degree equation. We can solve the two equations and find a and d. But there is an easier way to solve this problem. But if given the sum of three numbers in an arithmetic sequence, it's better to assume the three numbers to be a minus d, a, and a plus d. Because when you add the three numbers, the d will be cancelled and this will give an equation in a and you will get a in one step. The sum of the three numbers is 33, so a minus d plus a plus a plus d equals 33. Negative d and d cancel each other, then 3a equals 33, therefore a equals 11. The product of the three numbers is 792. Multiply the three numbers, so a minus d times a times a plus d equals 792. a minus d times a plus d, this gives the difference of two squares, so this is equal to a square minus d square times a, this is equal to 792. a is already known and equals 11, so 11 times 11 square minus d square equals 792. Simplify, so d square is 49. Therefore, d equals plus or minus 7. Therefore, d equals positive 7 or d equals negative 7. When d is positive 7, a is 11 and a minus d is 4 and a plus d is 18. So the three numbers are 4, 11, and 18. And when d is negative 7, so the three numbers are 18, 11, and 4. If a and b and c are three consecutive terms in an arithmetic sequence, the middle term b is called the arithmetic mean between the two terms a and c. And the value of the middle term b equals to the average or the arithmetic mean of the two other terms a and c. So b or the middle term equals a plus c over 2 and 2b equals a plus c. Example. If the arithmetic mean between a and b is 8, and the arithmetic mean between 4a and 2b is 20, find the value of a and b. So we have three terms that form an arithmetic sequence, a, then 8, then b. 8 is the middle term or arithmetic mean, therefore a plus b equals 2 times the arithmetic mean 8. So a plus b is 8 times 2 to be 16, and this is the first equation. And the arithmetic mean between 4a and 2b is 20. So we have 4a plus 2b equals 20 times 2 to be 40. And this is the second equation. Now we can solve the two equations to find a and b. Therefore, a equals 4 and b equals 12. It's possible to insert n numbers of arithmetic means x1 and x2 and x3 up to xn between two numbers a and b. In this case, the numbers a, x1, x2, x3 up to xn, then b will form an arithmetic sequence. Now let's see how to insert n number of arithmetic means between two numbers. Example, insert 16 arithmetic means between 27 and negative 24. To insert 16 arithmetic means between two numbers, so we have an arithmetic sequence. The first term a is 27, the last term is negative 24, and the number of term is 16 plus the first and last term, so 16 plus 2 to be 18, so we have 18 terms. So t18 equals negative 24, this is the last term. Use the rule of the general term tn equals a plus m minus 1d, n is 18, so the last term is a plus 17d or 27 plus 17d 
this is equal to negative 24, the last term. Now solve the equation to find d. Move the 27 to the other side and divide by 17. So 17d equals negative 51. Therefore, d equals negative 3. Now you know the first term a and you know d. You can find the other terms of the sequence. Start by a. So 27 plus negative 3 to be 24. 24 plus negative 3 to be 21 and so on. To find the last arithmetic mean, take the last term minus the common difference d. So negative 24 minus negative 3 to be negative 24 plus 3 to be negative 21. Therefore, the arithmetic means are 24, 21, and so on up to negative 21. Example, find the number of arithmetic means inserted between 1 and 17 and the seventh mean equals 3 times the second mean. Here we want to find the number of arithmetic means that we can insert between the two uh, terms, 1 and 17, so that the seventh mean equals 3 times the second mean. The seventh mean is the seventh term after the first term, so this is the eighth term, so this is T8. And the second mean is the third term, so the seventh mean T8 equals 3 times the second mean T3. So T8 equals 3 T3. The general term Tn is a plus n minus 1d, so T8 is a, which is 1, here the first term of the sequence is 1, a is 1 plus 7d, so T8 is 1 plus 7d. This is equal to 3 times T3, T3 is a plus 2d, so 1 plus 7d equals 3 times 1 plus 2d. The right hand side is 3 plus 6d, solve and find d, therefore d equals 2. Use the rule for the general term Tn to find the number of terms d. Assume the number of arithmetic mean to be n, so the number of terms of the sequence is n plus the first term and the last term. So the number of terms is n plus 2. So the last term is t n plus 2. The last term is 17. Use the general term rule. a is 1 and the number of terms is n plus 2 minus 1 to be n plus 1 times d, which is 2, and a is 1, so 1 plus 2 times n plus 1, this is equal to the last term, 17. Simplify and solve to find n, therefore n equals 7. Therefore, the number of means that can be inserted between 1 and 17 equals 7. Example. Find the arithmetic sequence whose ninth term is 25 and the arithmetic mean between the third and fifth term is 10. So we have an arithmetic sequence and the ninth term is 25. So T9 is 25. T9 is A plus 8D. This is equal to 25 and this is the first equation. Then the arithmetic mean between the third and fifth term is 10. There is only one term between the third and fifth terms, which is T4. And this is equal to arithmetic mean between the two terms, and it's equal to 10. T4 is a plus 3d. This is equal to 10. Now we have two equations. Subtract the two equations. The a will be cancelled, and 8d minus 3d equals 25 minus 10 to be 15. So 5d equals 15. Therefore, d equals 3. Substitute d equals 3 in equation 1 and find a. Therefore, a equals 1. Example, find the arithmetic sequence in which the arithmetic mean between the third and seventh terms is 90, and its tenth term is greater than twice of its fourth term by 2. The arithmetic mean between the third and seventh term is 90. Therefore, T3 plus T7 equals 19 times 2. T3 is A plus 2D, and T7 is A plus 6D. This is equal to 19 times 2 to be 38. So a plus 2d plus a plus 6d equals 38. Simplify a plus a is 2a and 2d plus 6d is 8d. Simplify the equation by 2. So a plus 4d equals 19 and this is the first equation. Second, we are given that the tenth term is greater than twice of the fourth term by 2. This means that the difference between t10 and 2 times t4 equals 2. In the difference, we start by the greater, which is greater, the tenth term or t10 is greater than twice 
t4, so t10 minus 2t4 equals 2. This will give the second equation. t10 is a plus 9d, and t4 is a plus 3d, so a plus 9d minus 2 times t4, which is a plus 3d, this is equal to 2. Simplify, therefore, negative a plus 3d equals 2, and this is the second equation. Now, add equation 1 and equation 2. A will be cancelled, and 4d plus 3d is 7d. 19 plus 2 is 21. Divide by 7, so d is 3. Put d equals 3 in equation 1, and find a, therefore, a equals 7. A is 7 and D is 3, therefore the arithmetic sequence starts by A equals 7. Add 3 for each term to get the next term. The second term is 7 plus 3 to be 10, then 10 plus 3 is 13, and so on. Therefore, the arithmetic sequence is 7, 10, 13, and so on. Example, find the arithmetic sequence where the sum of the second and fourth means equals 12, and the seventh mean is greater than the third mean by 4. So we have two terms of an arithmetic sequence, and there is a certain number of arithmetic mean inserted between the two terms of the sequence, where the sum of the second and fourth mean equals 12. The second mean is the second term after the first term of the sequence, so this is T3. And the fourth mean is the fourth mean after the first term, so this is T5. The sum of T3 and T5 is 12. The seventh mean is greater than the third mean by 4. The seventh mean is the seventh term after the first term, so this is T8. The third mean is the third term after the first term, so this is T4. Let's find the two equations. First, the sum of the second and fourth means equals uh, 12. Second mean is T3 and fourth mean is T5, so the sum of T3 plus t5 equals 12. t3 is a plus 2d, and t5 is a plus 4d. So a plus 2d plus a plus 4d equals 12. This is the first equation. Simplify, so 2a plus 6d equals 12. Divide the whole equation by 2, so a plus 3d equals 6, and this is the first equation. In the second equation, the seventh mean is greater than the third mean by 4. This means that the difference between them is 4. The seventh mean is t8, and the third mean is t4, so t8 minus t4 equals 4. t8 is a plus 7d, and t4 is a plus 3d. Subtract. So, a plus 7d minus a plus 3d equals 4. Now, simplify. a minus a is 0. 7d minus 3d is 4d. So, 4d equals 4. Divide by 4, therefore, d equals 1. Put d equals 1 in equation 1. So, a plus 3 equals 6. Therefore, a equals 6 minus 3 to be 3. Therefore, a equals 3. So, the arithmetic sequence is 3. Then, 3 plus 1 to be 4, then 4 plus 1 to be 5, and so on.